Good afternoon, Gemini. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing good. Welcome aboard the Cosmic Chariot. I'm going to be your tarot reader today. My name is Tyler. How are you guys doing? Alright, so, Gemini, this is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign. Not all messages will resonate, but take what resonates and leave the rest behind. For that being said, this is going to be your weekly reading. Um, today, I will be using the Rider Waite deck, the Moonology deck, and these ruins that I have right beside me. Cross Watchers, you are welcome to, um, you know, watch and, you know, cross watch for Gemini. But just know that these messages are going to be for Gemini. So if any, if you resonate with anything, uh, make sure, you know, flip it if you need to, unless it's your message. But if you feel like it needs to be flipped, then flip it. But other than that, you know, thank you for watching. Thank you all for watching. And if you are new here, make, uh, be sure to like and comment and tell me if you enjoy my content or not. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to divide the deck up a little bit for Gemini. Alright, so at the bottom of the deck, you have the Five of Cups in the upright. So you could be looking back at the past. Maybe you feel like you could have did something a little bit better. Or maybe you wish things turned out a different way. But you're just really focused on the past this week. And you kind of just got to let that go and focus on the present because there's no time like the present. And if you just keep focusing on the past, you're just going to be depressed. Or if you keep looking at the things that hurt you, you're going to get depressed and feel very sad. And um, there's no positivity there. And the positivity is what's going to really heal you and help grow you during this time. You have self. So really focus on yourself. Uh, whether that's, you know, self-medicating or just, like, really, um, make sure you are healthy. Make sure you're, you're mentally okay, you're physically okay, and all that, uh, during this time. You have R, which is for journey. So, this could be a new start to your journey. Maybe, uh, one of your, uh, your cycle is about to end on the, this, so one chapter of your life is about to end and this new chapter of your life is about to unfold in front of your eyes and it's going to get you out of this depressed uh, depressive state of mind um, if you are depressed or are very uh, sad uh, I know some people go through uh, seasonal depression so and we are in spring now but some people may still have it because they're stuck inside all day you know go outside you know in your backyard or whatever get some sun you know do whatever it takes to really um, you know get you feeling good again right go outside go in mother nature and get that joy that you've been looking for all right P means joy in the ruins um, and then you have H which is disruption so someone could be disrupting your energy they could be keeping you in this uh, energy that isn't very good it does look like this week you will be uh, releasing some type of burden uh, that has been holding you back uh, during this time. You do have the King of Wands here, so that could be the person. Uh, you also have the Strength card um, in reverse, so is the King of Wands. So maybe you're dealing with a Leo or a Sagittarius that was just holding you back. Maybe this is an ex and you're finally releasing them, you're no longer dealing with them um, because you are looking within and finding the strength to move forward. And it's going to be really hard for you because you have the judgment card here, so you're making a really hard decision this week to move forward and to uh, really heal yourself because releasing you know, toxicity or just energies that no longer serve you is going to help uplift you and make you feel good again. Um, you do have the Page of Cups in reverse, so maybe there was something that uh, this person just wasn't understanding uh, because you know the Page of Cups is all about children, learning, and you know new ideas. And it's also an emotional cup of love when it's in the upright. So some maybe this person 
didn't have an emotional tie with you like there was no emotions involved it was all like seriousness and you kind of wanted some you want a more of a emotional connection to where uh, they told you about how their day was and stuff like that and the connection just wasn't there um no matter how balanced you guys were together it just there was no connection it was a connection yes but it wasn't like a really healthy connection for you because you want someone that is you know a, a little bit emotional but at the same time sturdy and secure um this person could have been a bit childish um didn't really think about what they were doing they kind of just acted on impulse um you do have the high priestess here so you could be getting advice from someone that you have put on a put on a pedestal uh so someone that you value very much uh, maybe you feel like they have very good advice and that is why you go to them and you check them out and you uh, listen to what they have to say because they really do give good advice and they are the high priestess and you are going to them to get their advice um but yeah it does look like you're going to be making a huge judgment call on what you want to do um i'm getting yes for some reason i don't normally get that but whatever your question is yes go for it I, I don't know, that was like out of the blue. Um, Alright, so you have the King of Swords here. So that could be you, Gemini, because you are an air sign. Um, someone that really is standing in their power. But also, you know, doesn't really feel, you know, like themselves. You know, well, the King of Swords, they feel like themselves. They are there mentally but emotionally they're not there they're kind of all about you know taking action towards what's intelligently right rather than focusing on their emotions and then you have the king of cups here which is holding back his emotions when all this chaos is arising around him but that's also a very good stance maybe you have a choice between two people and you're trying to figure out if you should go with the king of swords or the king of cups because the king of cups yeah is uh emotional on the doesn't really show their emotions that much but they are sturdy they can hold their own and they can move forward in a direction that is comfortable with them with the king of swords here they got like they are smart they're funny but they just they're not very strong and maybe you're wanting someone that's a little bit stronger or like has a little bit more of a muscular body tone to them but you gotta really pick and choose here on what you want maybe this is your ex coming through and you're like do i want my ex or do i want this person you gotta really decide right here i don't see you know that bad of decisions right here because it does look like you're going to be releasing something, but you're also gaining something in the process. So either you're going back with your ex or you're finding someone new during this time. It doesn't really look like a super romantic reading, but um, maybe it's just like you guys go on a couple dates and maybe it ends there. It's some sort of something along those lines. Maybe, maybe it's something more serious than I'm saying. Uh, maybe you just gotta release someone and you know then you're choosing one person over the other and yeah so i'm sorry if that was a bit confusing but i'm just going through the messages as i see them so yeah the star card when it comes to your wishes it doesn't look like you're going to be fulfilled or um that you're making the most healthiest decisions when it comes to your health and uh, really balancing out your life so really focus on your health during this time um, and make sure you make decisions that are the best ones for you. Don't make, don't make a decision on impulse because then it just leads you to bad decisions. You also have three people here, technically four, but um, 
because of the page of cups so maybe you have a choice between three people an aquarius sagittarius and a cancer um and you also have leo here so it could be a leo you also have libra as well so a lot of air signs uh up in the air here so yeah uh, i do see things being a little bit more balanced than they were before but really focus on your heart chakra i feel like that's where all your pain is right now and once you heal that you're going to make better love decisions when it comes to romantic uh decisions um when you're healing your crown chakra and your third eye it's making you more intelligent it's making making you more aware of what's going on in your situations um but when you're just doing the crown chakra it may put the heart aside and you know just focus on doing what's best for you self-love and stuff like that it's not really a, a relationship type of energy it's more of a business oriented energy and doing what's best for you in that moment so it's really up to you if you want to focus on your crown chakra or your heart chakra but either way it, you may just need to focus on one or the other or you can focus on both if you like but focusing on one at a time is really going to heal faster rather than focusing on a bunch of things at once it's and it makes it less complicated on you and less stressful all right so let's get into your moonology cards <laughs> i'm sorry if like I, I was just rambling on right there but you know i just gotta say the messages that i hear and you know stuff like that and see so yeah I know it resonated for someone, so. Alright, so what advice cards do you guys got from the Moonology deck? What advice cards do you guys got from the Moonology deck? What advice cards do you guys got from the Moonology deck? Let's do two shuffles, two more shuffles for Gemini. Gemini, 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 Jimmy Jams, Jimmy Jams. All right, here we go. All right, so you have your card. The answers you need are coming, so you could be getting clarity very soon or just being enlightened on someone's actions or how they act and stuff like that. Um, it's going to really help you make a decision in the future. So sometime this week, you will be getting the answers that you desire. Um, you have confidence is key in your success, well, to success. So in order to gain this uh, success, you need to be confident. You need to be confident in your decision that you are making the right decision. Because if you're not confident, you're going to make a decision and then you're going to look back on it and be like, did I make the right decision? Did I choose the right person? This person isn't really acting right. They're not acting the way they first were when I first met them. What is going on? What changed? How, like, should I have chosen the other person? You're having second thoughts here and you're uh, confusing yourself and you gotta really listen to your intuition. So you may need to heal your third eye chakra as well. Um, so yeah. Uh, so for the energies I see are Gemini, Leo, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Libra, Cancer, Taurus, and Pisces. So for that being said, that's going to be your reading for, to, for this week. I hope you guys resonated and enjoyed this reading. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. Namaste. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. And if you'd like to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, the links will be down in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time.